What's going on guys? PDOT here with a quick look at my top three features of the new Serato 1.9.6 beta. This beta has a lot of great features, especially for DVS users like myself. Right here I'm using timecode vinyl, but this will also work with timecode CDs or timecode on USB sticks and a CDJ or another media player. So let's jump in. The first new feature would be the ability to have savable effects banks. So say you have your different effects that you just pick and you can go ahead and save it to bank B or bank A like that. You can change some stuff, change some values and then these will be savable. So like that you can see that I just changed some stuff, save it to bank B, jump back to bank A, it's my break echo that I always use. So that's kind of cool that you can play around with effects but if you have some go-to ones that you need to jump to right away it's available super fast, easy to get to. The one thing that I wish Serato would add is the ability to actually save your effects parameters. This was available on Serato uh, Scratch Live and I'm really waiting for them still to add it to Serato DJ. So the next cool effect is this new anti-drift, um, which is really cool, especially if you're using turntables like this. So it's located, uh, where is that? Under CD Vinyl. I had it enabled, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. This is with anti-drift off. Take a look at deck A, I'll be playing this beat. And if you've ever DJed on turntables, you know that they drift a little bit. It's just the natural uh, way of things on turntables because it's not gonna be like a digital pitch that's gonna stay super consistent. So let's watch the pitch on how it used to react in Serato, Scr or in Serato DJ, I'm sorry. It's jumping from 99.4 all the way to 99.7. Not really consistent. And I mean for a lot of DJs, most DJs, a fluctuation of about half a BPM doesn't really matter. Um, there's super anal retentive DJs that want the pitch exactly like right on point. And I mean it does make it easier because you don't have to worry about, you know, adjusting and nudging the platter as much. So let's see what it looks like when I have the anti-drift turned on. So I just went ahead, went into the preferences and turned it on. Now let's give it a listen. takes a little bit it takes a little bit of time but as you can see once the pitch is locked in once the BPM is locked in didn't touch anything on the pitch fader and it's still consistent at 99.7 so if I bump this up it takes a little bit to find it but there you go it's locked in at 100.1 super awesome feature kind of curious why this wasn't added before I mean one thing I was worried about is nudge performance. So if I'm if I'm nudging the track, nudging it backwards or nudging it forward, it doesn't lock in, it doesn't mess with the sound. You still get the ability to nudge, which is great on turntables. So that's something that I was worried about when I first heard it announced. But to see it uh, in action works great. Now, my last super cool feature that I think is awesome is the ability to use smart sync previously smart sync was only available on controllers but now it's available on DVS as well which is really cool <clears throat> as a DJ that uses turntables and CDJs when I'm playing out normally I don't use sync just FYI for all the sync haters out there but this is a really cool feature I could see this especially useful if you're playing on four decks or you're using decks and then the sampler on the side or even if you're using Ableton Link. This, this could be a really cool feature going forward and I really want to test it using Ableton Link as well. So let me show you with Smart Sync enabled and especially this box right here, the tempo slider affects all sync decks. Okay, now let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm going to start this deck zeroed out on the pitch at 100 BPM and then this deck zeroed out on the pitch at 106 BPM going to start this and have this one be the master and then this one sync to the first step. So let's go ahead and start. It's going to go ahead and hit sync and then start this deck up. Notice the pitch is off. I 
I hit sync, and automatically the BPMs line up. And with an even cooler feature, is if I move the, the pitch on this one, notice that this BPM on deck two follows the one on deck one. That's a super awesome feature. For DJ performances and different routines, I could see this coming in super handy. And I can't wait to experiment with this a lot more, see exactly what it's capable of. Being able to like just move one pitch and just have this one follow, awesome. So I hope you guys like this overview of my top three features for Serato DJ 1.9.6. Be sure to give it a download and check it out if you're using turntables or CDJs, some awesome new features. But as always, beware, this is a beta, so do not use this at your gigs yet. Wait for the final release. But just to get used to these new features and get your head wrapped around it, I suggest downloading the beta and trying them out. All right, guys. All right, guys. Pete out signing out. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and give this. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And as always, thank you for watching P.TV, where you find tips, tricks, and tutorials to DJs and music performers. See you next time.